flyovers and overbridges are meant to ease the movement of pedestrians and vehicles in the huge traffic jams found in many cities. But the overbridge in Kajansi has turned into a death trap. Pedestrians have abandoned it for over a week now after a truck carrier knocked it and caused some damage. Entebbe Road is very busy most of the day with many VIP motorcades passing to and from Entebbe town. Maroko, Kuva Maroko, Yatomere, Wali Ku police, Nebaji parking out. The Wali Wu Magazi go now, Babaja was in a valley to Nakon, Batambra, Nebagenda, a chin to a Chovulavi. A Rasen Gawa Yoka, Moroka, Nakona, Kokebe, and Kuva, and a Janga Yachu, we are getting your Kurikabi, but a Jakusiketa where you go Kutaka. Some of the bridges we saw are five meters high, but residents of Kajansi claim that one in their locality is lower than that. It's now risky for pedestrians to cross, and some are finding it hard to adjust. We asked officials at Uganda National Roads Authority why the overbridge has not been fixed, but they told us that it's privately owned. This overbridge has located at the Kampala suburb of Nakawa is rusting away. The metallic steps and the middle part of the bridge is about to give way. But there is no warning about the dangers of crossing the weak parts of the bridge. It's rust and, and one day it may break off. So when I'm walking this way, I touch on the sides. Another bridge located in Katwe is also on the verge of collapse. The difference between this flyover and that of Nakawa is that this one is made of concrete which is heavy and when you add the weight of the pedestrian is all supported by metals that are rusty and almost giving way that means that the users are at risk of falling through with a sad into the middle of the road that is full of speeding cars. The Kampala Capital City Authority published Peter Kauju says plans are underway to fix the bridges in Nakawa and Katwe. We have already started. They've done their preliminary works. They've gone and uh, they've gone and inspected and made recommendations on what needs to be done. We believe that uh, possibly in about two months it should be it should be well fixed. Metals have taken time yeah. to, to rush to that level. Mm. Uh, some people are complaining that uh, you've seen the problem, mm. but you're just ignoring it and you're waiting to hear mm. an accident and then you intervene. Is that the mode of operation at KCCA? I I don't think that's. Um, that's the plan or that is our style of, of work. We certainly um, treasure safety. We want to, th the reason we are actually here is to serve people. As pedestrians wait for the bridges to be fixed, their lives remain at risk. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.